Howdy y'all, name is Dave, channel is TXW5CSM. You got the earlier video on the uh, overview of this radio in a box. Um, you're familiar with where everything is on the externals of the box. What I'm going to show you right now is how I set it up basically for mobile and base station operation. You'll notice I am in the shack and I have opened everything up basically. The items that are going to remain dormant are the ground to the power supply, the external power coming into the power supply 110, and the uh, interface for the turbo tuner which is mobile. Everything else remains attached. The externals of the box, I'm going to begin here in the back left. I'm going to attach the coax to the HF connector which is the rearmost connector. I'm going to make sure that I have it Appropriately down into the channel. Tighten that. I have ground strap that goes to the single point ground for the radio station. Okay, coming around to this point, I'm going to have the interfaces for my, my CIV going to my West Mountain uh, plug and play for digital operations. I'll make sure I go over to the second one, which is the CIV. Then if I'm not using the Morse code key here, I'll just put that to the side. Probably better lay it back there. Nothing goes into the uh, Molex-ish connector. No, I haven't looked up exactly what that's called yet. And then to channelize some of the airflow, I place these in here to get the airflow directly across the radio. And some of the packing material that I had used before when I'm in transit, I'll sit that on top there to try to get some more airflow off of this uh, egg crate stuff and into the uh, onto the surface of the radio. The speaker goes right down here. We'll hook that into the control head. Control head cable. I only pay out the portion that I need, which is about a coil. I'm trying to do this quick, so I usually make it a little prettier than that. Okay, I will double check everything. I did forget one thing. I have to double check. Around the rear of the radio, I have this pass through split grommet right here. It goes to the digital interface for the digital modes on the West Mountain plug and play. So I will close that, ensuring that nothing is bound or pinched. Again, all of the cables will pull slightly through. And I can operate this cracked open, or I can leave it open, or leave it closed. And it tends to stay at about the same operating temperature either way. Okay, there's the control head back on. I'm going to double check and make sure it's set to speaker. Microphone. And because the power supply is already hooked up down below, I'll run the power to it. And we'll be all set and ready to go for base operations with the regular factory hand mic or I can run the Heil headset or whatever I'd want. So this is the uh, base station application ready to run voice or any type of digital mode that's supported by the West Mountain plug and play. Hope this helped you out. Knowledge is only power when it's shared.